Hey, Chubbs here again, back with a quick video. I've been doing a bit of an experiment in 3D software, just trying to figure out how perspective works, particularly the perspective of the sun and the moon, and trying to find out myself if the flat earth model actually works. I'll also be comparing it with the globe earth model to see which works best. It seems like a pretty big stretch that the moon is setting or the sun is setting below the horizon due to perspective. Like, if that was the case, the moon and the sun would have to get minute compared to the size we usually see it up in the sky because it's such a long way away from us. And then they say that it just disappears and goes behind the horizon. And yeah, it seems like a bit of a stretch, but I think I've devised a 3D model which can help us see if this is possible. Okay, here's a top-down view of the scene that I've made. What you're seeing here is a camera placed just on the shore of a little bay. You can call this a hill up here or whatever. Not a very high one, but I just put it there to make some sort of a horizon, like a false horizon. Now that's a target camera, so I put the target right below where the moon is here. The target stays still, but the moon moves on a straight trajectory, as you can see, basically above the viewer's head. When I zoom down to the level of sight for the camera, our guy on the shore, it looks like a real scene, so here it is rendered. Let's have a look at this animation. It looks a bit far-fetched. Surely the moon doesn't get that small in the sky. So let's see if we can find some real footage to compare that to. I've made another model in 3D software of the globe model. This time there's a camera just on the surface of the Earth and we're just looking at the sun rising over the horizon and going out of view of the camera. Obviously the sun doesn't change in size to any perceptible degree in the sky as being 93 million miles away and 1 million miles wide and the earth only about 6,000 miles wide. The earth turning does not make a difference. It only moves the viewer a maximum of 3,000 miles closer to the sun. During the daytime that is where the sun is actually visible in the sky. So let's see if we can find some real footage to compare that to. I wasn't expecting to see that. Let's compare it to my 3D model, side to side. Wow, so after seeing that, it seems pretty obvious which model uh, reality actually fits best. And it's not the globe model we've been taught for 500 years, then, wow, all our lives. Man, we've been sucked in. 